The Easter eggs in Portal 2 are abundant. <laughs> Who the hell am I kidding? If Easter eggs were dollar signs in this game, you could buy out a country, purchase enough ammunition to level it, and still have enough left over to treat your date to a lovely dinner at Olive Garden. If this were a video covering every Easter egg Portal 2 has to offer, we'd be here for days. Seriously. So, no Doug Ratman, no theories about GLaDOS resembling a bound and gagged woman or something, none of that will be covered. If anyone wants to hear any more in-depth details regarding those subjects, maybe I'll make a part two to this if enough people request it, but I'm pretty sure I found something a bit more unsettling than anything I found in the game. I'd like to point out to everyone, this is not a glitch, this is not an easter egg, this is actually something you yourself can do with control of the game to make yourself feel disturbed. If there's one thing the game does well, better than any puzzle or any backstory or symbolism, it's giving you the feeling of alienation. With the exception of Ratman, you are the only living embodiment of a human within hundreds of miles of existence. So, it would be completely psychologically natural to get startled when you have two portals close together and see yourself when making a sharp turn. Despite the fact of being alone, it didn't bother me at first either, but after mulling it over in your head for a few minutes, it does start to become darker. The thought of seeing a disembodied you with your own eyes. What I think is particularly creepy about this is that once you discover how to do it, you can't stop doing it. And I'm positive someone else out there has done this, I know I can't be the only one, because you can only progress so far in the game and last so long before eventually succumbing to the need of human interaction, even if it does mean catching a few glimpses of yourself turn a corner. But if you want to take it a bit further and really creep yourself out, Here's the pro version of the aforementioned. Find a wall parallel to another wall in which you can shoot portals through both. It works better if they're closer together. Upon entry into one of the portals, you will begin to chase yourself. This is called the tunnel with no light. It's an infinite regression. You can keep doing this forever if you wanted to. What's creepy about this, and probably downright mortifying to some, is that you're not just chasing yourself but also theoretically being chased by yourself or being chased alone, which is a paradoxical statement and is what makes this moment so disturbing. I'm not sure if this part of the game was just fucking with me or if it was truly a fault in the code, but after getting bored and doing this for around five minutes, I noticed the game started glitching up. The frame rate started slowing down for no reason, and in certain frames, some parts of the game looked to be distorted around the edges. Probably doesn't have anything to do with it, but it's just something I noticed. If this doesn't sound the least bit traumatizing to you, go to your console, pop in Portal, and try it for yourself. It's the only human interaction in the game where you will have the illusion of seeing someone else without actually seeing them or being able to touch them. It kind of makes you wonder, is there really an end to this infinite tunnel? And if there is, what happens when you reach it? 